Christ has changed my life in a way that John chapter 8 kind of paints a picture for that once I was a Pharisee living enslaved uh, to the law. No heart there, no circumcision of my heart. And uh, now I find myself more in common with the woman that was brought in there on accusation. And uh, with the heart being there, and a heart of repentance and uh, shame for your sin. And um, I don't know what Jesus was writing on the ground, but I'm going to spend the rest of my life following him, trying to figure out what it was. Uh, I'm just very, very grateful for the life that I have. And, and uh, I owe it all to Jesus Christ. I mean, uh, I can't think of anybody less deserving than me. Um, after all the years of... Uh, Alcohol abuse, drug abuse, uh, just a crazy life, uh, seeking out uh, happiness in the world and worldly things, and, uh, and then finally coming to my senses and and Jesus being there waiting for me with open arms, uh, just like uh, the, the story of the prodigal son, basically. Um, uh, I'm just overwhelmed with gratitude. And, uh, I just wanted to share it with you all. Uh, I can't believe I'm on a worship team. I can't believe the, the wife that I have and the, and the daughter and, and all the blessings that the Lord has bestowed upon me uh, uh, after all that. Um, uh, it just goes to show that God's love is uh, unconditional and uh, perfect. And uh, I owe it all to Him. And uh, He provides everything. We started going to PCC three years ago on Easter. And, um, I, I went to church because I knew I needed to. I never, um, I, there's a book called Not a, Not a Fan, and in the, in the book it says that most people in church, a lot of people in churches today are fans of Christ, but they're not followers. And that was me. I was definitely just, I was a fan. And, uh, I had gone because I knew I needed to. I knew that's just what you did. And, um. I grew up with great parents, a great family, uh, a great community, I guess, and um, that's just that's how I was raised to go go to church every Sunday and live, do your best to live for Christ. Really, it, was, it just was like six months ago. Um, Michaela kept telling me that I was depressed, and I, and I kept saying I'm not depressed. I go, I don't know what you're talking about. And my family, even my parents and things like that, said that something was different. And I knew, I already knew what it was. I was just trying to run from it, I guess. <clears throat> and um, I, w I was pretty good at wearing a mask at church and making it look like everything was okay. But really, inside, uh, something was eating away at me. And um, finally, I was sitting on the couch one night and um, Michaela was said the same thing. Why are you so depressed? I go, I'm not depressed. I'm running from something. And uh, that night, I reached out to Derek, and uh, I basically came clean with my double life. Michaela knew that I did take Adderall, but she just didn't know that how much I was taking and how often. Um, I took every day, anywhere from probably three to five pills a day from the time I woke up to the time I left work um, today. So I, I reached out to Derek and I went to his office and that night I I quit being a, a uh, fan of Christ and became a follower. He, uh, he led me to Christ and pointed me to Christ and uh, he, he told me that I was free and that Christ had, Christ had set me free that night. And um, leaving there, I was, I was a excited um i knew that I was, I was starting a new journey and um i thought it was going to get easier and it didn't get easier it got a lot harder um i a lot of people i guess think that once you start following christ christ will just take care of everything and he will but through the through the next couple months it um it really he really just like stripped me away from my pride and um, uh, 
basically just broke me down in, to to where the only thing I had was to go to Christ and lean on Christ because there was no other way that I was going to get through my days without anything that's been done in the past six months or not even six months, four months, five months has been done on my own. It's all been through, through Christ and I, I know that and it's, it's, it's amazing. I'm Jordan Coons and Christ has set me free.